okay today so i will be teaching you how to well do a cherry tree like this you can this is like a pretty good tree and you can do it in many formats the red can be substituted for the pink and the yellow can be substituted for the red and etc overall believe me it will look very good but i would go with the one which i did and plus you guys have to remember that i am using a keyboard and mouse not a graphics tablet so that means that even a person with a graphics tablet can do this and it's actually a very simple drawing it's not time consuming but it looks seriously good also one more thing is that only 27.7 percentage of all the people who watch are subscribed so please subscribe for more videos like this anyways let's move on to the video though so for first but first before that we must discuss the qualities or the contents of this painting it has a nice blue background to signify a nice blue sky it also has these circles and these like shining stars which signify that it is a pretty bright day and the circles make it like the may it shows that the camera lens is blurring out and it of the cherry red trees have formerly a stick sorry a brown a nice trunk which is pretty thin because that's how cherry trees are and and very thin branches which is very good one of the one cherry tree is larger than the other and there is a lot of red red and pink uh, leaves along with the tinted yellow yellow dots all all around the tree signifying that they, those are flowers or even fruits so this is the sun it has it there's a little blue in it to show that everything is blended in and the sun and the sun gives it a more warm feeling the reason why i'm showing you only half of the sun sorry quarter of the sun is because if i draw the whole sun it won't look good it, the pa whole page will be taken and it won't look finished and the grass over here has tinted tulips here purple tulips which give it a really nice vibe there are also some red leaves falling down which show that they are it is the autumn season where all the leaves are falling down getting ready for the winter okay so anyways let's just start with a new thing so you first go to file and new you will get this type of a document okay so then what you do is you go to custom documents dimensions predefined width this is a defined this is the width which is 920 height is 1080 resolution 100 that is basically pixels per inch okay and the rest you just leave it like that create okay so you have so we have gotten the page so if i do this it is the pink which right now i don't need so what i do is right click to get this color wheel and i choose a light blue yes, so and then you paint the entire page with this you see how beautiful the light blue looks now we are going to use that as the sky okay so you see that i have left out some parts look white that's 
that that makes that gives this thing a little bit texture of course there is already a lot of texture here but still and if you're wondering what type of texture i'm using i'm using texture pointillism um uh, sorry i i'm supposed to be using yes this one okay i will link i will so i am very sorry i used a different brush but the brush which i am going to be using is bristles one details you could use another brush but this is the brush which i like a lot okay so then you first draw like a main a main a stem one second you have to do it pretty hard okay Uh, sorry, I have a pretty bad cold. Don't worry. It's not coronavirus. I tested myself and You first draw like a small shape of a Y then you just go ham on the branches because the branches here It just gives you a predefined where where we must put all the Leaves and such so because these branches won't be generally seen except the main branch so anyways let's go with the next branch next tree because you know one is not enough just as Bob Ross said one mountain is not enough I'm saying that one tree is not enough so you see just go ham on it with the tree except don't try to like do this type of branch like stuff over here because that would not look good but basically all the colors I use is light blue pink yellow red and green and a tint of purple okay so you have gotten your trees it looks like a tree but it doesn't from afar from afar you won't see it as a tree but mainly that's because that in anime or something you get like this so anyway moving on i'm going off topic so let us give these trees some leaves because what is a tree without leaves so let's go for a nice red go to the entire red so it's you see that's nice red make it even more red okay then you go to the settings and then you get this one Also, um, if you are using Krita or something, you will be using the blur effect. I'll tell you why, because that that is really good. So then you start. Okay, now this is like that. Okay, so if it comes out like that, right click once again. Or for me, or something like that, it happens like that. But if it happens to you, you have to right click. So now you just keep drawing over the branches over here do show a little of the branches don't cover it fully because then it will look like floating leaves which arguably does not look good and then slowly just like So you slowly cover it a little now you can see a little bit of the branches and etc so you must like basically do like a rough drawing around this so it has that nice structure and all and it's not too well not looking that bad also too so I this is the first time I'm like uh, using this Krita and also if this is like my first ever tutorial and such so if you like it please do give me a comment and tell me on how i can improve 
and I do have a graphics tablet but I wanted to do it with the mouse and keyboard to show that you could do drawings even with mouse and keyboard a touch pad and etc you don't need you don't have to have a graphics tablet but but a graphics tablet would be very very beneficial if you're going to be doing animating and etc but if you don't have a graphics tablet and you want to animate there is a new there is actually an application i'm pretty sure it works for android too but i don't know its name is pivot animator basically it gives you like a sprite or something with pivots in it and you can move each pivot and if you press the space bar it will give you each new seat so you can do something like that and there's also options to reduce the frames per second and increase it and the play button so yeah anyways so you've gotten your basic format here so now let us have a tint of green here so that we can give it a line nice green green grass here because we will be needing you see this paint over here just goes right over this branches so it looks a lot more how can i say like it looks a lot more natural so now it looks like it's actually a scene you could add some people over here or anything i haven't but okay let's go for a nice purple -ish. yeah purple and then give it a nice like that but try to do it in the leaves in the nice green grass because that that will look pretty good okay now uh these cherry trees look a little bland don't they so let's give it let's go for a nice white and let's just same way how we dotted the grass we'll just dot the leaves like this but don't go around dotting everywhere you must do it in key essential points where you see like a hanging branch or something like that because these are flowers as well as fruits so if we just go on dotting everywhere it won't look good see but eh, but sometimes we must do dotting the dotting everywhere thing because it may it look good only at some time so uh, okay so now this looks like a real tree but it still doesn't look finished so while we are in yellow itself we'll draw like a small sun so we'll just i'll just move on like this the sun doesn't need to be like perfectly like a half circle or anything but yeah it but the thing is that it needs to have some kind of air in it like the blue part as i told you never mind oh this is the old one sorry so this is the one which we are are we aren't we so so we'll just move the sun like this okay so we basically have a good outline then we'll just damn it then we'll just like give it some color like this give it a little color and such but mind you it won't be uh, like this the same as the this one but it will be pretty similar okay you see this one has like it is it is on the ground itself and this one it goes up and down and below but uh, that one is basically you just need to expand your creativity you can in fact go there and uh, wait let me just you could also use a brown one sorry uh, you could use a brown one there to give it a little bit more like that but it is your imagination like you could use any type of colors to give that but personally me i don't like it because why do I keep going there? <laughs> but personally, my eyes don't like it because it, uh, it looks like a lot blurrier and not more defined. But, you know, people do like it. Some people. 
I remember, I remember clearly. So let's ah uh, let's get the Bristol's details, and then we'll give it a little bit more. Give it a little bit more. Okay, so let's give it a l more branches, but this branch does not look good. But this does not. This uh, it needs to be also realistic. So we must give it like a supporting branch. Same thing we could do here. But uh, we must make it a lot more realistic. Just don't go ham or anything. But you must make it realistic and neat so anyways let's let's um get the texture pointillism and and then go ham over there so you just make it look a lot more prettier Now look, it's it looks like a lot more larger. Anyways, let's give it a little bit yellow. Basically, you're giving it like some flowers and some kind of a width and depth. Next, we can go for pink, and then from the sun rays, wherever the sun hits, like do like that, do. A little pink but this is not the pink which works it's a little too bright I might say so let's go with this pink so you don't have to like outline it or anything but wherever you think the Sun rays might hit just put uh, put a little pink there but don't be completely unreasonable and put like outline the entire thing by pink now that wouldn't look so good would it now so this is basically we are going to be giving it a little depth and yeah so a little little depth and it gives it a lot more freedom and you can add a little pink in the holes over here to look like the sun rays are actually going through the leaves and not just bouncing off there now this looks like a paka tree but we could also give a little bit more pink anyways so next what we can do is we can add those fx so if you go to fx you will see a lot like this then get the blur tool and start blurring out It's fixed sharpen. Never mind. I went with the sharpening tool. Never mind. Uh, let me just go. Let me just get the blur tool. A blur tool just makes it a little bit blurrier. Okay, so now this has the blur tool. So now, why is it white? Anyway, now it's in the pen version. So now it looks a lot more better. You just have to blur out all the branches so it does not look a very um you know no does not look too sharp or anything because these branches are not supposed to look sharp the leaves are supposed to look sharp because in a tree the people would look only for the leaves so if the branches are so sharp they will get distracted so that's why you see in many of the trees tree drawings you will see it like i will show it to you one second let me just finish the blur let me just finish the blur and i'll show you what all the normal trees look like like a small drawing okay so you must like give it a nice okay so now uh, you may wondering you may be wondering so how does a normal trees look like so let me just uh, go to uh, paint 
they got this okay so a normal tree why it's too short never mind let me just um Okay, I'll take the bristles detail and I'll show you. So, a tree would look like with this and like this. And this part, everything would be covered. So, it looks like a branch carrying, a tree thing carrying a lot of uh, leaves. And a little bit poking of a branch is like this or there. And that's basically it. That, that, so to bring the eyes and the attention on the leaves not then the trees so this is like after effects because basically um painting users like normal painters you can stop at this point itself or if you have extra stuff you can do this but if you're on computer and all go to the brush presets history so yeah so stamp sparkle okay so we must use the stamp part sparkles which i will leave the link to sorry write down write down all the brushes which i use so stamp sparkles and go for white because that will look seriously good because now you just press it Give it a nice width. Give it, give it in the leaves. And nicely give it at the sun and make it look like the rays are coming and then you go for <laughs> brush bouquet which i will it gives that nice yeah you can see a little bit it's not a lot but this is how it looks nice and gives a nice vibrance and gives that like the camera is is little old and is like an old dog or something like that anyway so this is the tree i i know it does not look as good but yeah